everyone, it's Nisha. So today I'm doing this look and um, you wanted to see I had it, I think, in my Monday video. And I did it using this Tarte palette. Um, is it performance? <laughs> High performance naturals. Uh, so I've used that and also I did one of my brows on camera because you want you all want to see how I do my brows and and I keep putting it off because this is my least favorite um, part of my makeup uh, a lipstick on teeth um, I hate doing my eyebrows they are not very good but I did one of the brows for you on the camera so because of that I already had my foundation and blush done so it wasn't too long and so keep on watching okay so first of all i brush my eyebrows as you can see my eyebrows are quite dark uh, but they're quite thin and i have a bit of a tadpole shape especially on this one so it's a bit wider here and then goes up and now i want my brow to go straight so that's why i have to rectify also because i've had stitches here you can see i've got about six hairs there so i have to draw that on so first what i do is i take the anastasia dip brow in blonde and this is just to give me like a wet base to put my powder on and i think if i i had the anastasia dip brow in the right color then I wouldn't have to use powder on the top of it. But I think, but I think that this is too light for me, and you will see why. As so I take Mac two six three, and first thing I do is I try to make this line. To make my brow go straight so i need to fill this bit if you can see but because it is lighter than my hair you can see like just this gray cast that's why i go over then with powder and i show so i just do this okay so i just use the dip brow underneath my brow and maybe just do a tiny bit here then I swap my brush to you can use the same brush but I have here Zoeva 317 which is for winged eyeliner and then I use Anastasia um, brow powder brow duo in medium brown and I take the lighter shade which still I think is too light and I just go over um, you see I'm talking about this bit just here this is where I'm filling it in so it has to be quite dark otherwise you can see my skin through it and it doesn't look like hair my brows are naturally quite arched okay so I really just use the dip brow and powder underneath my brow and here at the tail the rest I take the Benefit Gimme Brow and the lighter one, there's only two shades, there's only two shades in it and then I brush the, the front of my brow up and I go onto the skin as well so and then here I go sort of down just to keep the hair and that's how I do my brows. I hate doing my brows, I think my brows are horrible <clears throat> and I hate it that I have to completely, well not completely but I'm changing a bit the shape so I'm going to go and do the other one now I don't like zooming in because you can see I don't know why but the background is all going funny so I do this one and come back ok let's do the eyes um, I am going to use the L'Oreal Colourish what is it? Um, eyeshadow primer. I 
It is good eyeshadow primer and I like it because it's so easy to use. Okay, so now I'm taking this Tarte High Performance Naturals Palette. Okay, so um, I'm going to take a fluffy brush and the first shadow I'm going to use is this one and this is um, Just Mold Away. And I'm going to put that all over my lid, just very lightly. And this is to um, make the shadows blend better because obviously I put that cream on. And then I'm going to put much more just on my mobile lid. If you wanted to have more saturation. It's not very bright this shadow, it's very skin tone colour. But just pat it on and you get a bit better colour payoff. Then I um, take in this one. So the rest I've used from this side which is more of a taupey mauvey side whereas this is more, more brownie top. So I'm take this one, the Pinky Promise on a MAC 217 and this is um, going to be my sort of crease transition colour Let me see if it's better without the lights because it's so lovely and sunny outside today. I think the colours look more natural actually. Hmm. I don't know. So I do that on both eyes. And on Sigma E45, I'm taking the second one down, which is You Look Marvelous. Marvelous. And I am going to go just under that um, transition color, just halfway through, and shade it towards there. I'm not very good at explaining but hopefully you can see. And then with whatever you have left drag it towards the inner corner. Then I took from this side, no sorry, <laughs> this one and this is the Show Plum Love. Uh, this one's got a tiny bit of a sparkle. I'm going to use the same brush and just darken this outer V here with it. Um, this shadow is not that pigmented, it, it looks pigmented um, on a swatch, when you swatch it on your finger, but it's not that pigmented on your eye. Okay, um, I'm going to do some blending, so take any blending. This is my Zoeva crease, which I love. 
for blending just clean brush with nothing on it and just blend the edges a bit pull the shadow a bit up and out just with the blending brush okay um, now I'm going to take um, pencil brush this is Mac 19 and I'm going to go again to uh, you look marvelous and do my lower lash line with it Hopefully you can hear the birds today because it's such a beautiful sunny day so I've got my windows open. Okay and now I'm going to take the very darkest one which is called Wind Down Brown on a some type of little flat brush so you can just tap it on. You tap it in a little seven shape and then again take your clean blending brush I always clean it off a bit on my finger and try to blend it in again Okay, um, now I'm going to take um, some sort of little detailing brush and I'm going to go with that dark brown just on the outer edge of my lower lash line. Um, I'm going to go back into that lightest shade and pack it on here a bit. I always like this part of my eye to look nice and bright. It sort of opens it up. And I will put that shade just under my eyebrow. Again, blending brush and blend all this a bit upwards. There. So that's it for the eyeshadow. For the eyeliner, I'm going to use my Inglot gel liner in 74 which is beautiful dark purple for some reason it just cracked and looks dry but as soon as you put um liner brush in it is again like butter so they don't really dry out i'm going to use louise young ly24 liner brush you can also your black. I just want to show you it looks like it's dry but as soon as as you put the can you see the shine it goes wet again so it's a very lovely battery liner and you just do a quite thin line Um, and you can do a little wing Okay, and that's that. And now let's do 
mascara so for mascara again I'm gonna use my uh, Max Factor experience and I did say that um, it is discontinued I managed to get it on eBay I think or Amazon and I got three And that's the eyes done. Oh, I just felt that mascara. And for lips, I'm going to do what I did, what I had in that video. But I think I used NYX Bloom. Um, I'm going to use this one today, which is Sand Pink. don't really have a proper lip line I have to like guess where it is and then I'm going to use the Madame Glam lip lacquer in in Party Girl which I had on hmm nice Maybe I should have used the other lip liner. It's a bit darker than this one. So that's the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I see you soon. Bye.